Hello there! It's so very nice to see you! This is The Route to Victory Road, a podcast that chronicles our journey through the main series titles of the Pokemon franchise. I'm your host, Pokemon Professor Mackenzie, and I'm joined today, as always, by my wonderful partner and co-host, Jaylee. Hello! It's nice to see you, too! Hello! Happy Friday! Yeah! Welcome back to the Sinnoh region. <laughs> Thanks! Are you talking to me, or are you talking to everybody else? Talking to you! Oh, cool! And everybody else, thank you for joining us again this week. What did you get up to this week? Was it fun? A Pokemon. Yeah. Yep. Pokemon. That's all. Yeah. Did you catch a Pokemon and name it Buggy yet? Oh my god. Not yet. I think I'm going to save that for next gen if I'm still obsessed with One Piece by then. Yeah. We'll see. Yeah, lately my obsession has been with Buggy the Clown, and I fucking hate clowns so i don't know why this is the thing <laughs> this is my next cosplay this is my next life for the little for a little while we've watched one piece almost twice through now mm-hmm. live action and getting into the anime more but yeah this stupid clown i don't know but you're having fun and i, I like that i like it a lot i, I like just, that you're i hate clowns fun. so why what is this i like the story and i like his character and you like chop chop cannon yeah it's fun, <laughs> it's fun time <laughs> But no, no Pokemon named Buggy yet, but it's not yet. Don't worry. Okay. I believe you. I wish there was a Buggy Pokemon. That'd be cool. Like a clown? Yeah. (laughs) Pirate clown Buggy? That isn't Mr. Mime, I guess. Yeah, right? Yeah. No, there's, they only need one clown Pokemon. I still hate clowns. (laughs) They're so terrifying. So I, I spent some time last week and I found way more out about the underground. Did you? Yes. Oh, I don't think I've been down there more than once. I discovered oh, no. a whole bunch more. I forgot about it. Uh, I spent m- the majority of my time down there this week. Down under? Yeah, you'll see how much time I put in to the game this week, but it was, m- I would say more than half of it was in the underground because I was very specifically looking for some things. Did you find your dinosaur? I did. That's what I was looking for. I'm so jealous. Can you? Can I give you my game so you can do it for me? I don't. <laughs> oh, I, I honestly see. don't think if I can, I can spend that much time down there. It's so tedious. How long did it take you to find him? Uh, like I said, it was more than half the time that I spent this week. I'll I'll give you a comparison once we're once we're through here. But we start out this week in Eternity. And Eternity is where we fought Gardenia, if you remember. That was so long ago. It was. <laughs> this was a long leg. So we fought Gardenia, the grass-type gym leader. The garden Pokemon. Yeah, she had Roserade. And, uh, that, that was the one where all the trainers played um, peek- or peekaboo, hide-and-seek. Peekaboo. <laughs> hide-and-seek of us. They played all these childish games. They do. <laughs> that was what we were obsessed with last week. <laughs> or two weeks ago. Squid Games. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, my God. We just hyperfixate on so many <laughs> random things. Next week, it'll be something completely different. Who has ever heard of One Piece or Squid Games anymore? The first thing that we do after getting our the forest badge from Gardenia, who is the Eternity City gym leader, is we go to... The Galactic Hideout. Or the building. The Galactic Building, which has like those weird spikes on the sides. Do you remember? Yes. Yeah. And we fight a bunch of Galactic Grunts. There's only a few of them. There wasn't very many. No. There's Not like as a, many as the Rockets. A double battle with one set. They just have a Worm, Pole, Cascoon, Zubat, and Glammeow. Easy peasy. They're low level, especially compared to the gym that we just did. And then... Upstairs, there's two more grunts, and one has a Wurmple and a Zubat, and the other has another Silcoon. It's ridiculous that they keep throwing these, like, Wurmples and Silcoons and stuff at us. Like it's they, just easy experience, yeah. easy training. Don't expect us to have a counter for that. Like, Zubat, I guess I kind of get, because it's flying and poison. And that's a little bit harder to deal with than Bug. I hate Bugs. Finally, on the third floor, there's another Galactic Grunt with more bugs and Scientist Traven, who has a Kadabra too young. Traven? Is it, is it Traven? Traven? Travon? Traven. Sure. Travon? Travon. But he's got a Kadabra, and it's too young. It's level 15. Yeah. That's not when Kadabra evolves. It's not. 
He's cheating. Yeah, I don't know why why Pokemon insists on doing this, giving Pokemon two trainers at like too low a level. It's just a mess with us. Yeah, it's like it, remember um, Faulkner in Generation Two with a level nine Pidgeotto or something. Yeah, a little bit ridiculous. Yeah. Then we get to the top floor, and we fight a new Galactic, Commander <laughs> Jupiter. And Commander Jupiter had a Zubat and a Skuntank. Do you remember Skuntank? Yeah. Is that the weird, like, skunk when its tail goes over its body and its head? Yeah. It's so strange. It's cute. It's, it's strange. It's a skunk. It's also difficult because it's tanky and it is poison dark. He is super strong. Yeah. Not not as not as beefy as Perugly, but still fairly fairly powerful. Perugly is a foe. Yeah. Forever a foe. And you know this now, but Stunky is in your game and Glamio is in my game. Right, I have to catch you one still. Yeah. And I'll catch you in Glamio. Thanks. Mm-hmm. Eventually. After we beat Jupiter who wasn't super, super hard, but Skuntank was a bit of a challenge. After we beat her, we free the man, Rad Rickshaw, who gives us... Oh, yeah, the bike dude. Our bicycle. That's how we got the bicycle. I couldn't remember how we got the bike. All of a sudden, I just had a bike. Yeah. Like, this is normal for me. So Rad Rickshaw... Random strangers just give me bikes. Gives us a bike. Yeah. And it's a weird bike. It can change gears. It's got a gear. Yeah. Yeah, and I always forget where the gear shift is, so I'll be button mashing and trying to go up hills. <laughs> and it'll look ridiculous to complete strangers and like, wow, that ten year old doesn't know how to ride a bike. Yeah, one one gear makes you go only as fast as you run, and the other gear goes much faster but like has a slow startup. Yeah. And if and you it lets you, you go up mud hills. Yeah. And stuff. It lets you go up mud hills, which is cool, and go off jumps too. Which is something that we'll we'll get oh, into later. But nice. we could also go back to Orberg and go into the Orberg Gate. Remember that little tiny cave between Jubilife and Orberg? Yeah. In the basement where I caught a duck, my side duck. Uh, you there's jumps in there, so now we can go back and do that if we so choose. Oh, cool. Yeah. Okay. I don't remember what's down there. I'll have to go this this week and go have a look. Before we head down Cycling Road, though, did you return? To Eterna Forest? No, I'm avoiding that forest. I hate it. Yeah? Why would I go back there? Because we have the ability to cut now. And now that we have dealt with the Team Galactic, the gentleman who's standing at the gate doesn't stop us from leaving anymore. Yeah, he kept stopping me, so I just was done with the forest. I didn't care if there were balls or ethers or whatever in there. Right. Don't tell me there's anything cool, though, because then I'll regret it. There's something cool. Oh, no. Yes. There is the old chateau, which is a a spooky mansion. (gasps) I didn't go there. Are there ghosties? There are ghosties. Oh, like It's the earliest you can catch Ghastly. I don't want one, though. It's the earliest, but it's okay, because later we'll run into something called the Lost Tower, Okay. And that we won't need these ghastlies because they're actually <laughs> lower level than the ones in the Lost Tower. Yeah, but promising. I like that. Another thing that you can find here is two people ghosts. What? Yeah. No. The ghost of a man and the ghost of a little girl. Oh, God. Yeah. Weird. A few items, including something really cute, but the old gato inside the old chateau. <laughs> what? <laughs> So the old gato is an item that you can only find one of in this game, and it heals anything. It's a full heal. Just like a one-time use? Just a one-time use. Oh. Yeah. But it's Eh. just cute. It's cute. Eh. (laughs) I don't have to go back. It's okay. No, that's true. Much later on, so in Platinum, if we were playing Platinum, Platinum gets the best of all, all of this region. If we were playing Platinum, we could do this now, but us, being peasants on Diamond and Pearl, we have to wait until we beat the Elite Four, and then when we come back here to the old chateau, we can catch a little cutie ghost. His name is Rotom. Oh, that's where you get Rotom? That's where you get Rotom. Wait, Rotom's a ghost? Rotom's an electric ghost. What? Very cool typing. 
I just know Rotom from the latest anime yeah. of being like the Pokedex phone right. and then starting all the matches you need the Rotom as the ref. Yes, eventually Rotom becomes much more things, but in this game you catch him and he's an electric ghost and he Weird. can in the uh, galactic hideout which we haven't been able to get into yet in the galactic hideout you can make him possess different things so like an oven or a fridge what or a fan or a lawnmower can you get him to like make you food no oh. but he becomes different types when he so if he's an oven then he's electric fire that's really funny if he's a fridge electric ice okay that's a really funny right that's okay, really weird. Cute. I need one. Rotom's so cool, and I wish that we were playing Platinum because then we could use it now. Can you imagine me, Abner, uh, Abner Mull, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. using a Rotom? Yeah, I would. That's exactly use what Rotom you need. My that entire would be your play. ace. Yeah, he would be my ace. Exactly. Speaking of weird Pokemon, we actually miss another opportunity later on in this same leg to get another Pokemon that we would be able to get if we were playing Platinum. That's Porygon. Oh, we can't get Porygon. We can get Porygon later, after we get the National Pokedex. <sighs> I know. I was like, that's so... Lame. Like, he's got a Sinnoh Dex number. He should be in the Sinnoh Dex. We should be able to capture him before getting the National Dex, but I guess Game Freak thought differently. Oh, well. Oh, well. Next time. So we head down Route 206, which is the cycling path. And down here, there's a bunch of trainers. Mostly they have flying and electric types, which is weird. Uh, flying electric is cool. Yeah, flying and electric you, is are cool. Are there any flying and electric Pokemon? Zapdos. Besides the... Besides Zapdos? Uh, there is coming up in Generation 5, they introduce one. Okay. An electric flying type, which is cute. I'm going to come it, up It's actually with the my... Pika clone in Generation 5. Pika clone. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's what I call, like, the, like, in this game, it's Pachirisu. Harry Chisiu. <laughs> yeah. And in the games previous, it was Plusle and Minin. They are the Pika clones in Generation 3. But, uh, so, yeah, there's a bunch of Pokemon down here. They're all kind of at our level, which is surprising because normally after you beat a gym, the levels dip back down. You notice that? A little bit. Yeah. So, but these Pokemon are all like level 17 through, or 15 through 18. Uh, did you have any trouble on the cycling path or? Um, no, no trouble. It was just slow training yeah. up. Like there was lots of people to fight here, which was nice, but it's still super slow. I training my team, looking back at my team. I hate it. I only like like two Pokemon on my team, so I don't know if I'm gonna even keep any more. Right. But yeah, so my my good Pokemon leveled up. The ones that I like to use, they leveled up a bunch. I caught a few Pokemon under the bridge here. Did you go exploring at all? Of course I did. Yeah. Yeah, my goal is to catch them all, but did I catch them all? No. Okay. No, I I found like running into Pokemon. They either run away from me or I kill them. Yeah. And I ran out of Pokeballs. Oh, no. Yeah, I got too far away from Eternity and it was, I ran out of Pokeballs, so I just kept going. Oh, okay. So I have to make a goal of turning around and going back and following my footsteps and catching the Pokemon that I did. Because I still want to catch at least over 100. Yeah. You can catch your. You can check your Pokedex to find out the area that Pokemon appear in. Oh, I know. Oh, okay. I know. I'm just being lazy and waiting for Fly. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> I really don't want to go through any of the forests again. After Route 206, we're on Route 207, which is just north of Orberg. Orberg is the first city that we fought Rourke in. You remember right. the, the yes. mining town? Yeah. This is where I spent a lot of time this week because I was going specifically down through the underground vents here on Route 207. Because I figured it was really close to Jubilife and it was also like it was like it's kind of like the midpoint of the map, you know? Okay. How do you find out where to find your dinosaur? Or is he just random? It's random. Ugh. Yeah. I don't have time for this. 
So what I did is uh, I went into the underground through Route 207 and I planted a bunch of my spheres. Because if you plant spheres in the ground, you bury them in the ground, they start to grow and also they attract the sparkle spots. That that makes sense. That's yes. part of the <laughs> underground. Plant spheres and you get the sparkle yeah. spots. Yeah, that's part <laughs> of the, the underground. Is that correct terminology too? Kind of. It's the like, spheres, you bury the spheres. Yeah, that's correct. They grow. That's correct. <laughs> and then I don't know what they're you actually called, the but they're, they're sparkles on your map. And that's where, like, you can dig. I like it. Yeah. I'm so just teasing you. I think it's cute. I spent a lot of time there, but it, it took me all the way until the end of the week to get my dinosaur. So I did not, did not spend the entire time here. Oof. I gave it about an hour a day or something out down in the mines until the final day when I spent the majority of the time. Anyway, it doesn't matter. After Route 207, which has a bunch of Pokemon that are level 18 and up, mm -hmm. actually, we get to Mount Coronet. Mount Coronet is a giant mountain range. It's the worst. That splits the region in half. It's There's the west and then there's the east. So now that we're through Mount Coronet, because it's a very short little cave, yeah. now that we're through Mount Coronet, we're on the east side of Sinnoh. Weird, hey? Wow. Yeah. So the entire time that we've been playing the game, we were on the west, and now we're on the east side of Sinnoh. So if you find a Shellos now, it'll be different, because it's different? an east coast How? Shellos. What? What's the difference? One has more of a tan? No, oh. the West Coast Shellos is shallows. pink and like <gasps> really like floopy looking. I want a floopy pink one. You you do you've caught a Shellos, haven't you? I have you? a Shellos. I don't know. Yeah, he's which the one pink. Is. It's the pink Shellos. I thought it was blue. The other one's blue. The <laughs> East Coast one is blue. I thought I had a blue one. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> I guess we'll find out. Oh, correction! I have a pink Shellos. <laughs> Wait, what does the blue one look but like? But there are blue ones. There are blue green ones. What makes him floopy and the other one not floopy? The blue green ones looks like kind of spiky. I don't know how to describe it. I'll show you. Oh, they look better. So there's there's the two shellos side by oh, side. Oh, they do look so, better. Yeah. Oh, I like the blue one. Right. A lot He's got more. like little wingy ears. Isn't yeah, that cute? My pink little one's got like an anemone thingy on his head, like where Nemo lives. I guess yeah. the The pink one's got like anemone. Yeah, anemone. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's gross. I want a blue one. And it's got like spikes on its back, where the blue one's got like ears and wings. Yeah, he's cute. Sorry, sorry, Gucci too. You're ugly. Oh, is that Gucci too? That's Gucci too. That's so cute. In Mount Coronet, we run into a weird blue-haired man. The very first thing that he says to us is, "According to one theory, Mount Coronet is where the Sino region began." In a newly created world, a world where only time flowed and space expanded, there should have been no strife. Does he write movie trailers? And I said, uh, <laughs> cool, dude. Hi. <laughs> He's pitching his movie trailer to you. Yeah, but like, that's that's what he says as he descends the stairs towards you. Not not a hi, not like a not a stranger. Please listen to my story or anything like that. He starts with according to one theory. <laughs> yeah, he's a cool dude. It's like, oh, all right. Did you realize what he was wearing? No. Do I? I don't pay attention to anything. Team Galactic outfit. Oh. But he okay. didn't fight us. He just walked away. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Important though. He's Important cool. to keep keep a. I'd watch a Team Galactic movie. Yeah. Route 208 is on the other side of Mount Coronet. Like I said, very short cave. You could run into things in Mount Coronet, like Zubat and Machop and Geodudes and stuff like that. The regular stuff you find in the regular cave. Yeah, exactly. On the other side of Mount Coronet, there is a route called Route 208 that has the Berry Master. Did you go to the Berry Master's house? Yes, I did. Yeah? Yeah, did you? Yes, I did. And I got a nanab berry from him. I got something. I don't think it was a nanab. I don't remember. No. Maybe it was. It's okay if you didn't write it down. Of course I didn't. And also, one uh, the little girl here gives us something called the Berry Searcher app. Yep, which I got that app. I'm pretty sure you got, yep. <laughs> and there's a guy hiding down in the bushes 
south of his house. <laughs> As you do. Yeah. That's not the only weird thing about you, him. Is if you talk to him, he'll give you the odd keystone. Did you get that item? I didn't. No? No. Where is this dude? He's hiding in the bushes south of the Berry Master's house. Um, okay. It's on my list to go to. Yeah. We got to go back to Heart Home at some point anyway. So. Sure. so you can go back there. He must have been hiding really well. There was a trainer here called Aroma Lady Hannah, and she says, I was meaning to enter a contest, but beating you won't take long. And she had a level 16 Combi and a level 18 Roselia, and I killed her with one Pokemon. And I was like, get out of here. <laughs> Go to your contest. Get out of here. It's my turn. Contest time for me now. <laughs> In Heart Home, which is the next place after Route 28. Route 28, or uh, sorry, 28. Route 208 is pretty short. But uh, when we get on the other side, we get to Heart Home City, which is a big, big city. Uh, it's where the contest hall is. It's where the gym, Fantina, the gym leader is. All of these cities are huge. But Heart Home, or <laughs> Heart Home, Fantina won't battle us. No, she says, yet. you need to be stronger. Go out and fight some other people. Yeah, go fight the pathetic ones, then come back to me. And I was like, that's rude. But. But fair. But fair. Uh, I talked to Jubilife. Did you find the Jubilife interview people? I did. What, did they ask you about a Pokemon? Yes. Did you write down what you told them? No. They asked me about my Cricketune. His name is a Cricket. I don't know if you remember. I do remember that. They asked me about him, what I thought of him, and so I told them damp. Damp? Yeah. Your cricketune is damp? My cricketune is damp. <laughs> 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 and then I went to the puffin making area, and I made some poffins. I did too. Yeah? Yeah, it was fun. I liked this. Yeah. I didn't know what a poffin was before. It's a lot like Pokeblocks from yeah, from uh, Generation 3, from Hoenn, but it's really fun. Mm -hmm. I liked it. Um, a lot more touchscreen-y, obviously. In, uh, in Generation 3, it was more button-pressing, mm -hmm. yeah. and in this, it's touchscreen, obviously, because we're on DS. The Tube Life was there again to ask me how I felt about making poffins, so I told them the truth. I said, delight. I didn't talk to them. No? No. They weren't paying me enough to be on TV, and you know Gwen. <laughs> <laughs> Take it up with her agent. While we are passing through Heart Home, we run into a man standing by the Pokemon Center. His name, he says, is Mr. Goods. Mr. Goods. Mr. Goods. <laughs> And the thing about Mr. Goods is he tells you that he will give you stuff. You just have to give him some time. It's not true. You don't have to give him any time. We what know. you got to do is you got to pass certain milestones. So, for example, if you clear master rank in the super contests that are here in Heart Home, he will give you cups. Cups for what? Like trophies based on what, oh. what contest you got master rank in. Oh, that seems like a big accomplishment that I'm not going to do. I thought we were going to try. I did one contest, and it took me hours, <laughs> and I was so confused. Oh, okay. I, I mean, I could try some more, but I gotta catch more Pokemon first. We'll figure it out. Okay. If you do things in the underground, you get crystals, oh, like meet a hundred players. What? Or give a hundred items to other players. No! Or dig up a hundred fossils. What? Yeah. These are impossible. There's no way. I know. Like, the only one that even seems possible for us would be the digging up a hundred fossils. No. But that would take so long. I well, haven't even we, found if, one. Unless we could give a hundred items to each other, in which case I guess we could do that I one. I don't too. have a hundred items. No, you gotta dig them up first. I don't want to. <laughs> That's fair. Okay. And then finally, uh, something called the Battle Tower, which actually doesn't even happen until the end of the game we can get uh trophies okay yeah the battle tower is really cool uh in our game it's in a place called the battle park which is lame and it sucks oh. but in platinum of course it is in the battle frontier which is actually oh. really cool Star Trek? yes battle the next frontier <laughs> it's in space no. Oh, darn. It's just but called Team Battle Galactic. Frontier. It's more like a theme come park. Come on, come on. 
Team Galactic. That's true. I didn't put that together. Yeah. <laughs> We're doing a space show now. Space show. Battle Frontier is kind of more like a theme park. That's cool, too. Are there clowns? <laughs> yes. Nice. <laughs> Love it. Did you go back to Jubilife and fight the clown? I did. Yeah? Yeah, I did. Of That's course good. I did. I'm not scared of clowns anymore. It's got Mime Jr. and a Mr. Mime or something like that. I think it was just one Mime Jr. Was it? Okay. I yeah, I can't remember. I remember the first time I went through it, it was a, it was a Pikachu lady with a Pichu or something like that. Right. Which, did you catch one? A Pikachu? Yeah. No, I haven't seen one yet. Oh. Where would I find one? Okay. I can't find them. <laughs> I'm looking, trust me. I like this electric rat. So, uh, I guess next week you'll be able to do that before we go to Pastoria and fight the Pastoria gym leader. Okay. But it is in a place called the Trophy Garden. You can find Pichus and Pikachus living in there. Oh. Yeah. Is that a safari zone? No. What's the safari zone of this game called? It's called the Great Marsh. Okay, right, right, yeah. right, right. And that's okay. in Pastoria. But on the way south of Hartholm, there's like a like a manor. And you go in and the guy who owns it, his name is Mr. Backlot. And he's got a butler and like a security guard in, in the room that he's standing in. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, and there's like like maids walking down the hallways and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, so if you go into his backyard, called the Trophy Garden, Damn. Uh, I guess there's Pichus and Pikachus and Igglybuffs and that sort of stuff. What's an Igglybuff? Jigglypuffs, first Baby? Form. Yeah. What? And Clefairy has one, too, called Clefa. I don't care Clefa. about Clefairy. Oh. I've seen, I've seen Clefa. Yeah. I don't know if Jigglypuff had a baby. Yeah. Jigglypuff is the baby. <laughs> Also here, there is a place called Amity Park. What's that? Amity Park is a little area, a little playground that you can go walking with your Pokemon. Oh yeah, that's what it's called. I never knew that. Yeah. It's kind of scary. Isn't it like the Amityville Horror? That's Amity. This is Amity. What? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Amityville? Yeah. A-M-I-T something. Why? Probably. I'm illiterate. Amityville. Amityville is like a town. Yeah. But Amity, the word, means like pleasant in in um, Pokemon. No, pleasant, oh. pleasant in demeanor. Oh. Like when you have Amity towards somebody. Yeah. Yeah. No, I know what it means. Okay. I just it sounds like the Amityville. Oh, Amity okay. Stuff. I get what you're saying. It should be scary. Okay. Not a walk in the park, as it literally <laughs> is. But it's not the Amityville Park. It's oh, just Amity they're Park. They're missing the Ville part. Okay. Yeah. Fine. You see? I, I see. <laughs> that all makes sense now. Uh, who did you go walking with? They only let me walk with my Baneri because he was cute. Right. Nobody else on my team was cute. That's fair. So they let me walk with my Baneri, and that was it. I wanted to walk with my Pachi- uh, my Badu, but they only let they're me walk cute. with my Pachirisu. Yeah, Buddy's not cute. But it was cute. No. What do you mean? You just put it in your pocket. It doesn't walk. Um, but it's like a little smiling plant. Yeah, you can't walk. <laughs> Poor Badu. There's not really much to do here. You just walk around and find items. And every now and then you can talk to your Pachirisu slash Baneri and ben- they'll maybe have found an item. Yeah, I'm sorry, but walking a Badu is like walking a tentacle. It's just not... Not gonna work. I Not bet cute. they would let Tentacool walk I in here. I bet you they won't. If you go in with no Pokemon except a Tentacool, they will shoo you away. <laughs> Come back when you have something cute. Rude. Sorry, had to put that out there. Rude. I said my piece. I found a few accessories. What did you find? I can't remember. Like, like a bow and fluffs. Yeah, yeah okay. exactly. That's what you find in Amity Park. In yeah, Amityville I was Park. expecting more. Amity- in Amityville Horror Park. In Amityville Horror Park. <laughs> yeah, I wanted more stuff. I did too. I wanted like or did, like push potions my or, down a slide or, or Pokeballs fun. or push my Pokemon down a slide. Yeah, that would be really nice. cute. Yeah. yeah. Being able to interact with your Pokemon more than just yeah. like Pachirisu who jumped up and down in enjoyment. But it is reminiscent of Pokemon Yellow. Because that's kind of what you would do in Pokemon Yellow is you would walk around with Pikachu behind you. And when you would talk to Pikachu, it would like jump up and down, or if it was like hurt from battle, it would like, like it would like shiver or whatever Aww. and stuff. And it would be like Pikachu is looking around in wonder and Cute. yeah, 
So that's kind of cool. And it kind of paves the way for the future of the franchise of uh, interacting with Pokemon. So that's fun. Okay. There's a church here in Hard Home. Is there? Yeah. Oh, yes, there is. A very weird church. Yeah. Pokemon religion. Is and there? the very first thing I noticed when walking inside is the church has no music at all. Was it silent? Yeah. So you oh. you are listening to the sound of the town, Heart Home music playing mm-hmm. everywhere you go in Heart Home. Yeah. Except the Pokemon Center, which has Pokemon Center music. And then you walk in and the game music cuts. Weird. Why? Don't know. Don't know why there's no music in here at all, but you maybe it's because it's like sometimes quiet in churches. I don't know. Weird. But you'd think that there'd be like organ music like or something. Music, yeah. yeah, gospel music or, or like gothic music or something. Yeah. Everyone inside is talking about weird stuff. One lady, though, mentions not to judge Pokemon on if they are strong or weak. And then I said, welcome to my character concept this season, lady. <laughs> Weird Pokemon. <laughs> Weird Pokemon. Not judging if they're strong or weak. <laughs> we go inside the contest hall after we've done an exploring heart home. Yeah. And there's a lady named Kira talking to our mom. Oh, yeah. My mom's there. I forgot to mention that when we enter heart home city, we stop a Baneri from running away. Oh, yeah. The Baneri. He came running right in many. Yeah. And apparently this belongs to Kira. Yep. (laughs) But I'd forgotten by the time I got to the contest (laughs) hall. So when she called me her hero, I was like, who are you? (laughs) Did I did I help you in the past? I don't remember. (laughs) Yeah, you didn't remember at all. No. I I, I wrote down, I seriously cannot recall who this is. (laughs) She gives you glitter powder for saving her. And we find out our mom's name is Joanna. Hi, Joanna. Which I think is the first time we've ever had a mom with a name. Yeah. We've had a dad with a name, but not a mom with a name. Yep. Weird, hey? Weird. I entered the cute contest with my buddy, and I got first. Good job. And it unlocks the other half of your Pokemon summary screens. So all of, like, looking at, like, if your Pokemon knows a cute or smart or funny move or whatever. Funny's not one of them. Beauty, beautiful, charming. I don't remember all the... I think there's six six different stats it can be, but I can't remember them all. Yeah, cool, cute, smart, beautiful, tough. Foolish. I don't know. I don't Makes remember. Sense. Yeah, that was it. There's also a Pokemon fan club here. Mm-hmm. And after you're done talking to him, if you leave... The Pokemon fan club and go south. Oh, did you, sorry, did you enter the contest? I walked into the contest hall, talked to mom, talked to Kira. Yep. I was like, my Pokemon are cute and cool. So I went and looked at the practice stage, practice whatever, yep. tutorial. And I did one. I just did the beauty one of like dressing them up. And I was like, yeah, that's good enough. So I entered a contest. These contests are elaborate. There is so much to them and I did not understand. I was yeah. like, my baby is beautiful. Here, not realizing that my baby had to know how to act and dance and do all this stuff. <laughs> yeah. But I was like, what the heck? So I button mashed through it. I did not know what I was doing, but Prado won a cool contest. Nice. Still got first place, even though I just didn't know what the heck I was doing. <laughs> it was very confusing to me and very long. Like, it took like at least 10 minutes yeah. to do a contest. Prada is your primplup? My primplup. Mate. Okay. Yeah. And now it's got a it's ribbon. Cool. Yeah, part is cool. On the way out of town, you run into your rival. Yeah, who we... Wait, did we battle them? Norman the rival, yep. This is when we actually battled them, right? This is when yeah. we actually battled them. I uh, <laughs> thought it was going to be really easy. Yeah, no. But his Starly, which is level 19, used wing attack... And got a critical hit on my Badu, who I was training up because I wanted Badu to evolve. Badu is a happiness evolution. Yeah. Which means that things like boxing it or letting it faint. I thought you already gave up on that. Reduce its happiness. I did give up on it. He wasn't happy, so I thought you already gave up on him. I did. You're trying it again? I did try it again. And so he knocked out my Badu in one shot. Badu's gonna hate you. With a wing attack. And I was upset. But then I beat up his Starly, 
and then he sent out a Roselia that was lower level than my Badu. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. I was like, that's man, like, I'm just going to give up on this stupid thing. Like stabbing you in the chest and showing you the knife. Yeah. Yes, it was. It was exactly like that. He also had a Buizel, which was easy. Uh, he probably had a Buizel for you, too. Because mm-hmm. for me, he's got Monferno, and for you, he's got Grodol. Yeah. Oh, he had a Ponyta, not a Roselia for you. Right. Okay. Because the the he's trying to, like Blue, he's trying to get uh, the type trio. Right. So he's got a Buizel and a Ponyta, and if he doesn't have Grodel, he's got a Roselia. And then it's whatever starter he's got. He's got the other two are the uh, the random type. How was Grodel? Grodel was tough. Yeah? Yeah, I can't remember exactly what Pokemon I used, but I was excited for a rival battle because I feel like these are far and in between. Like, they don't happen that often. Right. So it's like, okay, we're actually going to battle. But no, the rest of his Pokemon are easy, and then Grodel was the... Give me a bit of a challenge, but... Right. Not too bad. No. Then... After we beat Barry, or not Barry, Norman, poor Poor boy, (laughs) there's a man in the corner who will give you an egg to carry around with you. I got the egg. You got the egg? I hate this egg. I got the egg, too. I am pissed off at this egg. Did you hatch it? About ten years later. Yeah. 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 It took so long. Yeah. We found that one kind of route that went all the way like 100 steps to the top and 100 steps to the bottom or whatever. Yeah. And I just kept going back and forth and back and forth. My God, it took so long. And what it hatched into, I just boxed it right away. Right. Yeah. Because you weren't interested in happy. Because hap-pini. I was not happy that it was a happy me. Uh, happening? Hap- hap- happening. Yeah. Ha- happening. Hap- Hip hop happening. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. But whatever. I was going to be upset about what it was anyway because I don't like the baby Pokemon. They're cute. They're cute. They're cute. But. I don't have time for that. I don't have time for a baby. I'm ten. That's I, true. Like, no, sorry. So I boxed it. I didn't want it on my team. I also hatched Hapini. Did you? Yep. And I raised it up. Did you? Yep. And I'm going to evolve it. My Hapini's name is Overraptor. <laughs> An Overraptor it was a type of dinosaur that specifically ate eggs. Oh, those ones. That's what they're called? Overraptor. No. Yeah. What are they called in Land Before Time? I don't know. I'm going to look this up. Egg munchers? Egg eaters? It is an over-raptor. But what are they called? They're referred to as a fast runner. Egg stealer! There you go. Yeah, the egg stealers. Yeah, anyway. over-raptors. Okay. So that is my happy and ease name. Cute, I like it. This is an over-raptor. You're gonna... Okay, it better be better than what's her face? Claire's or... Cheryl. Cheryl. Where did Claire come from? I don't know. It better I... be better than Cheryl's. Probably will be. I imagine it will be. I'm never going to use one of those Pokemon now because of her. Because of her? Yeah. No, oh, no. Yeah. Uh, I don't think you would like it anyway. It's, Nurse Joy. it's high in HP and special defense, but it's low in everything else. It's low speed, low attack. They're dumb. It's okay special attack, and it's low, low, low defense. They're dumb. I do need a Pokemon that can do, like, a status effect, like, sleep or poison or something though so that's i'm on the lookout okay but i don't want to put it anymore chancy doesn't do it i know i don't want to chance okay <laughs> i'm just throwing it out there my mind is going you could get tagging. a clefairy maybe somewhere i think they have sing i have good luck at catching clefairies in these games clefairy usually comes with sing right. or lost tower you can catch a ghastly and it learns hypnosis at some point i don't think i want a ghastly because i ran a gengar last game right so I don't want to run another Gengar. I'm trying to use Pokemon that I haven't used or heard of before. That's exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> no, because we're cool guys. We are cool guys. Ran into a guy named Roughneck Kirby in the Lost Tower. A Galactic had killed his Pokemon. Poor Pokemon. He's got a cool Gyarados jacket. Yeah. Yeah. And he had a gle- a cleffa. A gleffa. Gleffa. Yeah, sorry, I, I skipped ahead to, to Lost Tower. I guess That's I should okay. say, uh, right out of Heart Home, we're on Route 209. And you will find joggers here. I don't know, did you battle them? The joggers? No, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, so they're guys just running back and forth. You can only battle them in the morning. 
they won't battle you at night or in the day. Oh, I didn't see that. Isn't that cool? That is cool. It's just like cops. Cops will only battle you at night. <laughs> they won't battle cops? you during. Yeah, There's they cops won't in this? battle you during the day or the morning. Only battle at night. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah. Uh, we run into Pokemon breeder Albert, who's got a Bonsly, a Pichu, and a Badoo. Yep, Pichu. Jogger Richard has a Luxio. I battled all the joggers. Twins Emma and Lil have a Bonsly and a Mime Junior. Poker Kid Daniela. <laughs> Did you run into oh, sorry, Danielle. Did you run into Poker Kid Danielle? I think so. She was standing on the edge of a dock. Is she wearing a the dock. Pikachu costume? Yeah. yeah she just cute. looks like a Pikachu standing on the dock. Yeah, it was cute. She's got a Pikachu level I 19. I wanted her onesie. Jogger Raul has Staravia level 19. Pokemon breeder Jennifer has Mr. Mime Jr., Cleffa, and Badoo. Cowgirl Shelly is a waste of time and has Bidoofs. <laughs> Oh, girl, Shelly is a waste of time. She has five Bidoofs, level 14, 15, 16, 15, and 15. Ew. Ridiculous. Get out of my face. Gross. And then young couple Ty and Sue. I wonder if there's like a joke there somewhere, but Ty and Sue have Matchop and Meditite. I'm trying to think of a joke, but... Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't know. It's weird, right? Uh, you can actually run into Chansey in the wild on this route. Good to know. Okay. Root. I don't want one. I know. Ugh. But it's just funny that they gave us the stupid Hapini egg that we yeah. spent all this time hatching, and it turns out you can just catch Chansey here. Stupid. Uh, also, you can catch a Mime Jr. here, and I can catch a Bonsly. I don't like the idea of Mr. Mime, but... No. Is he strong? No. Yeah, yeah. He does he's... housework, and that's it. <laughs> he's fairly strong. <laughs> he does housework, and that's it. No, he's fairly strong. Uh, if you're playing Platinum, you can catch Ralts here, which would have been I'm not though. Would have been really helpful for where we're headed. Oh, uh, no, spoilers. we're not playing Platinum. We're playing Diamond and Pearl. <laughs> <laughs> it's just it's it's ridiculous that they like don't give us the same stuff that That's marketing. Platinum gives. That's marketing. That's why you have to go buy them. Well, Platinum came out a year or two years later. Yeah, that's why. That's oh. how they get you. They're like, ooh, come and get Platinum. Because you can get this Pokemon. There is a TM for Steelwing on this route. Did you get it? <laughs> You're going to go check? I don't know. Time I... for Jaylee's Pack? Time for Jaylee's Pack. Yeah, actually. Do I have music for Jaylee's Pack? I don't know. I don't think zipper. so. We talked about a zipper. I'll just do a quick little trill on the piano. Okay. Time for Jaylee's pack to see what the heck I have and what I don't, because I'm pretty sure I don't have a lot. And I don't know what I have. I don't think I've actually taught any TMs to anybody either. No? Nope. All my HMs, I have an HM Pokemon. But I don't think I taught any of the TMs. Oh, no. So this will be a good thing to go through. Okay. I have number nine, Bullet Seed. Yeah. Can you just tell me if these are good or not? Bullet Seed's fine. Number 12, Taunt. Taunt is really good in a competitive sense, but it won't be very useful in this game. Number 27, Return. Return's very good. It increases in power based on the friendship of the Pokemon oh, that you have. Oh, most of my Pokemon love me. I'm using the app, and I can like click on them, and my hearts show up. So cute. Yeah. Number 34, Shockwave. Shockwave is an electric-type move that never misses. Wait, can we find Pikachus? I haven't yep. come across one yet. Yeah, just Pikachu. not yet. Number 39, Rock Tomb. Rock Tomb's okay. I think it like lowers speed, but it has bad accuracy because all rock moves have bad accuracy like for some accuracy. reason. Number 43, Secret Power. Secret Power's meh. Number 45, Attract. I know what that does, no tank. Number 60, Drain Punch. Drain Punch, very good. You just got that this week. Right. Drain Punch is a fighting type move that gives you health back based on... It's Giga Drain, oh, yeah, but yeah, for yeah. punching. Okay, yeah. I need to use that. Number 63, Embargo. Embargo's okay. It makes it so your opponent cannot use their items anymore. Okay. Number 67, Recycle. Recycle, if you've used a move or a, a, an item in the battle, you get it back. So like a berry oh, cool. or something. Yeah. Number 76, Stealth Rock. Stealth Rock is very good. It's something called an entry hazard. So what you do like is you... Spikes? 
it's like is exactly like spikes except it also affects pokemon who are off the ground spikes doesn't oh. affect flying types Stealth Rocks Rock does, Rock? in fact, it's super effective against flying types. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Number 82, Sleep Talk. Sleep Talk lets you use a move even when you're sleeping, including rest again or whatever. How do you know what Pokemon to put that on? Snorlax. Oh. Yeah. Okay, noted. Number 86, Grass Knot. Grass Knot is a grass type move that does more damage based on how heavy the target is. So it would do more against like an Onyx than it would against a Badu. Uh, what if you have a really overweight Badu? <laughs> yeah. Or the overweight Raichu. I think this is where season. where we talked about <laughs> Raichu last time. Okay, number 88. It might not have been Grass Knot, but there's several moves that are like that. True. Yeah. Okay. Number 88, Pluck. Pluck is a flying type move that lets you eat a berry held by an opponent. <laughs> oh that's sneaky i like that yeah okay i did not get steel wing so i don't even think i went on this route i don't know what you're talking about yeah it's the route that you it's like an l and it goes up to salacian town well i missed a bunch of stuff on here so yeah i need to go back did you visit the hallowed tower which is south of the lost tower no because i'm lost no okay there's oh wait there like, were two there were two towers in a crater yeah, right? so the these are the ones in the craters. Well, the the crater one is like it's like made of stone, and you can talk to it, but you can't do anything. Yeah, with I it. only went in one of them. I was like, I went in that one. Yeah, you I can't go in into it. It's just like it's just like a tower of rocks. Oh. And what you do is you insert the odd keystone. Oh, I don't have that. No, you have to go get the odd keystone, and then it's activated. And when it's activated, you have to complete some ritual. Which I'm not going to tell oh, you how no. to do yet. But once you do, you get a secret do Pokemon. Do have to sacrifice our Hakinis? Yeah. No. Nice. No. Nice. Useful baby. Uh, but it's a, it's a cool a Pokemon. I wasn't listening. A secret Pokemon. A secret Pokemon? Yeah. It's a cool Pokemon, too. Is it a good one? It's yeah. It's fairly strong. Okay, yeah. so not like a Hapini. No, it's not like a Hapini. I think Hapini is the tentacle of this generation for me. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so. A secret Pokemon. Secret Pokemon. Do I know what this Pokemon is, like, in real life? I don't think so. I don't think you've oh, ever seen it. Neat. Yeah. It's it's not a Pokemon that gets a lot of, like, press. How, okay, is it strong? Very. Then how is it not popular? Because it's not strong anymore. Oh. It used to be extremely strong, uh, but then Fairy-type became a thing, and now it's not. Is it Lucario? <laughs> no. Oh, because I like Lucario. I want one. You can get one. Riolu. Riolu is something that we get in this game. I haven't seen one yet. No. Oh. Uh, I'll figure it out after we're done recording. Cool! <laughs> Go get the secret Pokemon. Okay. Uh, then after the Hello Tower, there is the Lost Tower. And in here, if you come at night, you can catch a Mistrevis, which I did do. Oh, did you? Nice. Yeah. I think uh, I went during the day. Uh, my Mistrevis's my mistress's <laughs> name Mr. is Mistrevis? A banshee. A banshee, of course. Very nice. And if you come at night, you get Murkrow instead. Oh. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that sounded enthusiastic, but I'm not excited about that. I like Murkrow, but I already have a cool bird. Yeah. Yeah. But you could evolve Murkrow in this generation into that cool guy, the mafioso. Wait. Honchcrow. What does my bird turn into? Uh, Which one do you have? His name is Stevie. I don't oh, know. yeah, yeah. Uh, so he turns into Star Raptor. Oh, no. I got the wrong bird. Why? Did you want a haunch crow? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You got to get Murkrow and evolve him using a, a dusk dick. stone, is what it's called. Okay, I'll do that, <clears throat> too. Why can't I ever be ahead in these <laughs> games? Just, I'm so lost. If somebody do all this stuff for me. I will pay you <laughs> in jelly beans. This is where I ran into Kirby. Uh, Ooh. the 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 roughneck roughneck oh, Kirby, okay. yeah, with the Gyarados ja bucket. No, right. ba what bucket? <laughs> <laughs> Is this a mid around female? No, no I almost male? said I almost Moment? said backpack, and I meant to say jacket. Okay. So I just <laughs> corrected the wrong part of the word. I called it a backpack. I have a mid around nail. <laughs> I have a mid around nail. Strikes again. So he's got the cool Gyarados jacket on. <laughs> And uh, there's also a poker fan, Leonard, who's got Pichus and a Pikachu. Uh, yeah, youngster cool. Oliver, who's got a Stunky, who I want 
you to catch for me. It's on my list. I know. Shallow's Cricket Tune. And also, Poker Fan Rebecca, who's got a Bond Sly. Bell and Pa, Beth and Bob, who've got a ponytail and a boy. Bill and Pa, Beth and Tom. What? And young couple Mike <laughs> and Nat, who've got a Burkrow and a Mischievous. And then when you get to the top, oh, this is where we get Return. Okay. There was a uh, there's a gravestone that's got it. You also get a. Gra- I did get that. You also get a great ball here. I don't know if you. Yay, a great ball. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you're using your item finder. No, I can't figure no. it out. You, you just, just tap, tap the screen. Nothing you just tap ever when you. Up. Yeah. I can never find that. Uh, then when we get to the top, we get cleanse tag and the HM for strength. Got that. Yeah. That's that's how we get it. As we get to the top, and we talk to the two old ladies up there. They give us oh, a yeah. cleanse tag and the HM for strength. That's it. That's all you got to do. Then you get down and go to Solacian get Town. Down, get down in Solacian Town. Did you go through Salacian Town and talk to the Rune Maniac? There's a Rune Maniac in here in a house. I don't know. Or, no, wait, he's standing in the center of town, actually. And he gives you the Pokemon History app, which tells you all the Pokemon that you caught last. Yes. You got that? Yes, I got that. Okay. So, yes, you did. I did. Shows you the last 12 Pokemon that you acquired. 12? He thinks I have more than 12 Pokemon? (laughs) This guy doesn't know me at all. The, the person who's in the house on the eastern side of town, you have to go through, like, the jumpy ledges. God, do you remember? This is a sidebar. Yeah. Time out. Do you remember last generation where we were like, let's do two gyms a week because there's not much to do? Yeah. I'm having a hard time making it through everything to do plus the gym in a week. Yeah. I've missed so much stuff. Oh, no. Oh, no. This lady gives you something called the seal case. Did you get that? Do you yes, know? Yes, I got that. But okay. Oh, my gosh. So what that lets you do is you can do something called ball capsules. <laughs> so ball capsules are these clear things that go on the outside of your Pokeball. And then when you throw your Pokeball out, you have these things called seals. And the seals are... they. When your Pokemon comes out, it'll do, like, special effects. Oh, God. So, like, you can make, like, flower petals come down when you throw out a Pokemon. Or sparkles go off. How or whatever. useless. Yeah. But it's cute. I'd rather have it than not have it. Does that make sense? Have it and not use it than not have it at all. Okay. Yeah, it, I don't know. It's neat. It's a way to, like, customize it. your Pokemon in a way, you know? God, they went with... Seriously, customizing your Pokemon in this game. Yeah. Oh, that cracks. Uh, also, if you have a known, you can talk to her son. For every unknown that you have, her son will give you the letter that that unknown is. That, <laughs> what? Okay. And uh, then you can like do stuff like spell stuff out on your Pokeball. Okay, that's cool. Do you have yeah. an unknown? I have no unknowns. No, because I don't care <laughs> about unknown. I have one. You have one? Yeah. Okay, there's 28 Because I went to that them. really cool place. The Salacian Ruins. That's it. Yeah. And then I didn't I didn't know if I was supposed to be in there, and then I ran into him, and I was like, you're useless, but you're mine. Nice. I don't know what letter it was. There's 28 of them. Holy f- 26 for the letters, Mysterious and then there's... Gym leader, holy... Gym. Hey, what's the language? <laughs> there's one for every letter, and then there's an exclamation mark and a question mark. Because they literally have no moves. Well, they have one move. Power. Hidden power. Are they... Ugh, so dumb. That is dumb. Yep. So dumb. They don't learn anything else. Really? You can't teach them anything else? Nope. It's just a letter. It's just a letter. Why? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's not usually that I'm one. I'm asking why, not the letter Y. <laughs> uh, Can we it, move on, please. They they wanted it to be something intriguing and cool in, and they were supposed to be like powerful in Generation Two. But they have Mew, and they for Just... they forgot to do anything with it. <laughs> So Poor pathetic Pokemon. I'm gonna get every, them all now. Every generation since they've they've basically just made it like a mini game to collect all the unknown, but you don't ever get anything useful for it. Oh. Yep. I realized it was Friday playing this stretch. Mm-hmm. 
so I ran back to Floroma Town. All the way back to Floroma Town. Couldn't be me. And I caught a Pokemon. Which one? Uh, I'll tell you when we get to our Pokemon Center check-in. Because okay. <laughs> he's on my team. I went back to the Silesian Ruins. There is a mural on the wall at the back of the first chamber you enter. And when you read it, it's all unknown. Oh, I didn't do the ruins because I didn't know no. if we were supposed to be in there or not. Yep. So I went and I read it and I was like, oh no. And then I caught one and I was like, oh no, I shouldn't be in here yet. So I left. I forgot about it. Yeah. Uh, when you get to the final room, you get the odd incense and the mind plate and the rare candy. Oh. Yeah. And Good a nugget. Stuff. And a nugget. Oh. Good nugget. The puzzle, as it's laid out. Is... Maybe not tell me because I might go do it. Okay. Each unknown is a letter. Okay. Okay. And in the final room, I'll just tell you what the mural in there says because it doesn't actually change anything. For the sake of the podcast, if you want to spell it out, go ahead. And you want to tell everybody, I will just close my ears. <laughs> well, no, it doesn't. It doesn't ruin the puzzle. I'm just going to tell you what the final mural says. Okay. It says friendship. All lives touch each other's lives to create something anew and alive. I knew what they were going for, but I think they missed it. Sorry, I think I misread it. Misread it. <laughs> All lives touch other lives to create something anew and alive. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> what? Okay, cool. Yeah. There's one trainer in here who will fight you. He's got a Geodude, a Geodude, and a Bronzor. He is Rune Maniac Carl. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Carl. Carl. Uh, also, if you're playing Platinum, you get the Fire, Water, and Thunderstone in here. But we Wait, don't. Shoot. Yeah, we don't. All of them? All of them. Why? Don't know. Yeah, that seems fair. Don't we just get them at the game corner and we have to buy them? We have to buy them. Crazy. Or find them oh. by digging. Oh. Yeah. I hate digging. <laughs> Gwen's not cut out for this. After we are done in the ruins, there's nothing left to do in Salacian Town. Oh, I forgot to mention, Salacian Town is where you do the daycare for breeding. You can breed here in Salacian Town. I'm good. There is a route north of this called Route 210, and there are a bunch of trainers here. Holy crap, are there so many trainers here? There are one, two, three, four, five, six, six trainers, and two of those are duos, so technically eight trainers. I hated this. There's Jogger Wyatt, who's got a Ponyta, level 21. I was yep. like, holy crap, that's like as strong as some of my strongest Pokemon. Rancher Marco has an Apom, a Psyduck, and a Giraffe Rig. Belle and Pa, Ava and Matt have Stunky and Glamio, which are our version exclusives. You have Stunky and I have Glamio. Oh, nice. Twins Terry and Tia have a Pikachu and a Clefairy. Pokemon breeder Khalil has a Pikachu, a Pichu, and a Happiny. And Pokemon breeder Amber has a Cleffa, Clefairy, and a Happiny. Lots of babies. Lots of babies in this route. They also were tough because they're mm-hmm. such a high level. Yeah, weird. Yeah. If you talk to a lady by the honey tree, she gives you TM51 Roost, which is amazing. What it is is your Pokemon, your flying Pokemon, becomes not flying for a turn and it gains health back. It's basically recover and eliminate a weakness for a turn. I missed this too. Yeah? Yeah. I've made a point of talking to everybody I see, so I don't know how I'm missing so many things. I don't know either. This is like right above where the berries are. So if you're in Salacian Town and you go out and to the right, there's a bunch of berries and there's a stair staircase leading up to a honey tree and there's a lady standing underneath the honey tree. Weird. She gives you roost. Weird. Yeah. Roost is a very good move, especially for your Star Raptor slash Honchcrow that you maybe eventually will have. <laughs> for my bird. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, okay. it, like I said, it, it eliminates the flying type for a turn mm-hmm. and recovers health. Nice. Yeah, it's very good. There's a bunch of Psyducks blocking a path up here. Yeah, there is. <laughs> They're cute, right? They're cute. And uh, right to the right of the Psyducks, there's a cafe. Did you go in the cafe? Yep. Did you fight the trainers there? I did. So there's I remember this. Waitress Katie, who's got a Clefairy. There's a collector who's got three pseudo Wudos. Yeah, right? And another collector who's got three Mr. Mimes. No fun. 
And I don't remember which one it was. I think it was Edwin, the one with the pseudo wudos. But afterwards, after you beat him, he says, I don't like people who can outsmart me or something like that, so, or who are more talented than I am. So back <laughs> off. <laughs> or something. And I was like, oh, wow, okay. So threatened by my existence. Yeah. So that was that. I thought it was funny, but we can't go any further on Route 211, so we have to go down Route 215, which is to the right. And this is like the going up and down and up and down. Okay, like, this yeah, is how up we the paths catch and, the egg. Uh, oh, no, that's Route 210. This I'm talking about, this is like where we go up the stairs and then over a bridge and then down the stairs things. and up over the ledge. This is and, what I'm dreading. Because I want to turn around and catch all the Pokemon that I haven't, and talk to all the people that I haven't talked to. I'm dreading going back this way. Going back this way isn't too bad because you have all the ledges you can just hop over. You can even avoid most of the grass this way. You just hop over all the ledges. Mm. So that's not hard. It's coming back <laughs> to Veilstone. That's going to suck. But Maybe I'll just wait until I get fly to go back and get everything. You run into a whole bunch of guys here. Like Rune Maniac Kelvin, who was hard for me because he's got a bronzer and a shield on, which yes. are both steel types, and I don't have fire. No, he was so hard. I don't have fire, I don't have ground, I don't have fighting. Mm -hmm. So I was like, oh my gosh. I, I had to basically use the weaknesses for the other types that they are, which are psychic and rock. So I had to use water and I had to uh, against the rock and I had to use uh, Bug against Psychic. Bug and Dark. Yeah, it was difficult. It was not easy. Uh, Jogger Craig is also here. He's got a Luxio, a Staravia, and a Ponyta. Yep. Black Belt Derek has a little cutie named Krogunk. Did you think you... Krogunk is cute? Oh, yeah. Oh, actually, talking about cute Krogunk, because I like that he hops, hops, and then like goes like... <laughs> uh, what do you think of Pokemon moving when you... Start battles with them. They're cute. Right? Yeah, I like the moves, and I like their entrances, and yeah. all of the animations in this one. Is, it's so much better. So this is something that's actually started in Pokemon Crystal, but we didn't see it in Ruby and Sapphire or Fire Red and Leaf Green, because for some reason they like had it only being in the, the special editions. So Pokemon Crystal had it, Pokemon Emerald had it. Oh. But now the main series ones have it, like the not cute. Yeah, I, I really like the, the animations. I'm happy that I that we're too. seeing them in the main games now. Uh, Krogunk, very cute when he comes out. Uh, there's Black Belt Gregory, which you need cut to get to, but he's got two Meditites and a Metrop. Nathaniel is another Black Belt who's got a Krogunk Matchop and a Meditite. Jogger Scott has a Staravia level twenty three. Ace Trainer Dennis <laughs> is a double battle with Ace Trainer Maya. And yep. they've got a Monferno, a Gyarados, a Glammeow, and a Kadabra. This was very hard. I remember this fight. It sucked. Yes. I lost like three Pokemon to this. But at the end of this fight with Dennis and Maya, my Badoo was level 23 <gasps> and it finally evolved. 23? 23. 23. Oh, God, that thing yeah. Hates you. yeah. It was ridiculous. But yay, he evolved. Yay, it evolved. Uh, along this route, we can catch Abras and Kadabras, and Geodude <laughs> and Ponyta, and Cricketune. If we were playing Platinum, we would get access to Scyther here. Ugh. I know. What the heck? I know. This is why Platinum is like, quote unquote, the better version. Uh, this is also where we get Shockwave, by the way, that you said you have. I do have Shockwave. Yeah. Uh, we also get uh, Payback. TM66 payback. I didn't get that. But uh, there's a, a black belt who will give it to you. Do you have to talk to these people after you battle them? Sometimes. That's how you, oh, I haven't been. Oh. I've been just taking their money and running away. That's fine. After that fight, though, with Maya and Dennis, the ace trainers, we are through. And we are finally to our destination. Oh my gosh. Failstone City. 20 years later. And we will talk about that. After a break. Thank you. Thank you to our sponsor, Nick, at AGN Artworks. Nick is the creator of our logo and specializes in graphic art and design with over 20 years of experience. 
Check out his art on Instagram at lex underscore kin underscore 83. Shoot him a message and say Mac and Jay Lee sent you for a Pokemaniac discount on your order. That's lex underscore kin underscore 83 on Instagram. Thanks for supporting the podcast, Nick. Welcome back from our break, everybody. Welcome back from our break. Pokemon Master Jay Lee. Hey. Sylveon Trainer Jay Lee. Hey. Ninja Master Jay Lee. A peony hater. <laughs> a peony hater, this oh, no. generation, Jay Lee. Tentacruel I'll forever and for <laughs> always. We are in Veilstone. About time. This is the city with the department store. Yeah, I went shopping. Finally, time to go get our first sponsor of, <laughs> <laughs> of this podcast. Fake sponsor. Devin Corpse Good Shit Lemonade. Yeah, we made that up. We are able to pick them up. Pretty cheap. How many did you get? I got 20. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I think I got like seven. They're cheap. They're half the price of a super potion and give you more health. I they know. give you 20 more I health. Can't believe, or wait, 30. Is this a mistake or did they do this on purpose? I don't know. It must be on purpose by now or else they would have caught it after the first game. Yeah. It's weird, right? Yeah. Yeah. But maybe it's just a little secret. Nobody I think else it's, in the world knows. I think, it, yeah. I think it was like, it's like on purpose, but super potions are just more convenient Easier to purchase to so yeah. they don't think that people are going to go after those We lemonades. go to the department store all the time, even yeah. at the Elite Four. Like, I always fly back to the department store and get some lemonades. It's very funny that, like, this is something that, like, started kind of as a joke, but then, like, it's like, actually, no, this is like, actually, like, really good because yeah. it is legitimately cheaper than a super potion it and does more HP. Shit. Yeah. So, it's... It, it started out as a meme and became a reality. <laughs> <laughs> I don't use anything but but uh, the lemonade. lemonades now. Yeah, we get embargo from a man outside the gym here. Yeah, and a coin case from a clown. Yeah. Yeah. More clowns. And the clown. So how he gives you the coin case is he gets you to play a game with him. Yeah. And if you win, which I think you can't not, but no, if you, you can, win, can't not because I didn't win the first time. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, I, I didn't know. Attention and I pressed the wrong button. If you win, but then you talk to him right after again, and then he gets it too. He says, "Bravo, a winner is you." And I like that, and I think yeah. we should incorporate it in our show somehow. <laughs> Bravo, a winner is you. Bravo, a winner is you. Save it after your trivia. <clears throat> <laughs> it probably won't because I'll forget Speaking of the department store though There's a bunch of useful things here Like what? There are a bunch of Different items that you can buy Like Ultra Balls This is I think the first time that you can buy Ultra Balls There's also All of the vitamins Of course, mm-hmm. proteins and sinks and the, All the usual stuff that you get In a department store uh, And there's also very useful TMs. Finally, they put useful TMs in the department Which store. Which ones? I didn't buy any because I didn't know what they were. There's Protect and False Swipe, Reflect and Light Screen. There's Fire Blast, Thunder, Blizzard, Solar <gasps> Beam, Focus Blast, oh, and Hyper are. Beam. Oh my god, okay. Whoa! Let's go shopping. That's amazing. And they're all like reasonably priced. Once I figure out who's going to be on my team, because I hate most of my Pokemon, I'm going to go buy all these. Yeah, you yeah. especially need False Swipe, because that's what helps you catch Pokemon. Oh. That's the one that leaves Pokemon with at least one HP. It won't kill them. So it's useful for getting Pokemon really low before you try and catch them. I need that, you're right. Yeah. Okay. Also here is my Versus Seeker. There are these two muscly guys standing next <laughs> to one oh, another. Yeah. And one of them says, two buff guys standing side by side. That's all. What? What's the problem? Yeah. And I wrote, nothing, guy. Chill. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. I'm not doing nothing. I didn't <laughs> say nothing, guy. <laughs> I remember that guy. The floor above where you get the TMs is where you can buy stuff for your base. base. Never made a base. I don't think I ever will. Seems pointless. No. Yeah. Uh, I don't blame you. It's ridiculous. I don't want to spend my money on... Oh, the other muscly guy. Mm-hmm. If you talk to him, mm-hmm. he'll give you a sticky barb, which yes. is a cool held item that if a Pokemon makes contact with your Pokemon who has the sticky barb, uh, then they will start taking damage over time. Okay. It's cool. kind of like poison, sort of. Cool. Yeah. 
So that's useful. And then there's the game center here. The only game that you can play is slots. Yeah. There's no other games, unfortunately. I found it boring. I didn't do yeah. it. Yeah, it's boring. It also is like, I don't know, it's it's very safe to win on. I took 100 coins in and I came out with over 600. Oh, wow. Yeah. Maybe I will give it a shot. Uh, oh, actually, no, I had 1,200 coins. 1,200 coins by the end because I, I know what I could have bought with it. Dang. It's because, like, the Clefairies will give you bonuses. Like, okay. when you... <laughs> it's so hard to describe but basically as you keep playing the game you will see clefairy show up sometimes and then clefairy will do dances that will show you because you can oh stop the slots in any order you want there's three slots and they're all spinning you stop them by pressing y b and a mm -hmm. but when clefairy is on the screen she will point to the next slot you should stop because you will always get rewarded when Clefairy is on the screen. As long as you stop the slot that she's pointing to. Oh, I didn't know that. Cool. That's so bizarre. <laughs> A little cheat. Yeah. And then if you get 10 consecutive bonus rounds and talk to the lady at the desk, you get TM64 Explosion. Holy crap. Which is the most powerful kamikaze attack. <laughs> <laughs> the coin exchange prizes are unfair. Because they are things like substitute and endure. Whatever. I don't care about that. Sword stance. Oh, I start caring about that. Rest. That's pretty good. U turn. U turn is a bug type move that when you use it, your Pokemon will hit the opposing Pokemon and then swap with another Pokemon. Very useful. Oh, really? Very useful. Lots of Pokemon can learn it. It's very good on a lot of Pokemon. Like your Baneary, for example, do, can learn U-Turn. Do we get these moves anywhere in the wild or do we have to buy them I here? I think or we have to buy them here. Oh my god. Okay, well I'm never going to get them. And guess what else? What? Flamethrower. No. Thunderbolt. Psychic. Wait, can't you buy these at the department store? No. Oh no. You can get Fire Blast and, and Thunder. Oh. But these are Flamethrower, Thunderbolt, Ugh. Psychic, Gyro Ball. Gyro Ball is a steel type move that's very powerful. That's new to me. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's too bad. I'm sad. Uh, oh, an Ice Beam obviously is in here too. But um, we probably do find them later in the game, but just one of each, obviously. And also, it probably won't be till way later. This is the earliest we can get them. Man, I should have. Saved up for the Psychic TM. That probably would have helped this week. But anyway, I just wanted to talk about all the things that you can find in Veilstone. The last thing that we can find... Oh, obviously, other than all the galactic stuff that's going on in the north of the city. Yep. Which we can't really, Not really do, do anything yet. right now. Not until after the gym. Yep. But uh, the other things that you can find here are these little craters with mm -hmm. meteorites in them. Yeah, do they do anything? Yeah, if you have Deoxys. What? Deoxys. What is that? It's a legendary from Generation 3. Ugh. We don't have Deoxys. We don't. And there's no way that we can get Deoxys. So we can't do anything. We can't do anything with the meteors. Stupid. But if you had a Deoxys. Which we don't. Which we don't. Because <laughs> it's an event Pokemon locked in Generation 3. Oof. Then we could use them to change his form. That's it. Oh. He's got a normal form, a defense form, a speed form, and an attack form. Oh, okay. That's what all the meteors do. Yeah. Whatever. That's it. So, the only thing left to do is, of course, go to Work out. the south of Veilstone, down Route 14, and catch a bunch of Pokemon. What? Hooray! You, you did that? <laughs> I did do that. I didn't. I didn't leave because I went to the gym. I won't talk about That's all the trainers cheating. that I fought out here. I will just talk about I, I caught a Pokemon out here. I didn't know we were allowed to go down that route. Oh, yeah. Oh. And I caught a Pokemon. And this is where I also leveled up until all of my Pokemon were all level 25. You got all your Pokemon to 25? To 25, before I even started. I only leveled up the ones I cared about. Maybe that's why the gym was terrible <laughs> for me. It could be, yeah. I went south of Veilstone to Lake Valor and fought a bunch of people in the restaurant. There's a restaurant oh, I'm excited there. to go down there. I haven't gone down there yet. Yeah. I'll leave the rest of this for next week. It's gym time, baby. It's the gym time. 
This gym is set up kind of like a uh, one of those like moving piece puzzles. Yes. You know what I mean? I so like the challenge of it. Yeah? Yeah. There's a bunch of wooden blockades yeah. that are movable from the side, but not from the front or back. And we have to go into these little pits and fight the trainers in them. Yep. And then after we fight the trainers, then we can get through to the other side of the pit so that we can move the panels on the sides and move them, manipulate them around so that we can open up pathways for ourselves to get yeah. into further pits. You do have to fight. Well, you don't have to fight everyone, but you do have to get through every pit to get to the leader. I fought everybody. I fought everybody too. I really liked this gym puzzle. Yeah. But it got old quick because anytime you leave the gym, you have to... Do it again. Yeah. You have to push all of the ones again. Yeah. Every single one. Right. I ended up leaving the gym at least three times. Oh? Really? Yeah, because you Because it killed me. Oh. The gym leader killed me. I times, see. Three times. I was fine with everybody. All the yeah. trainers, everybody, until the gym leader and his last Pokemon. Right. I was like, I got this. And then I didn't have it. Three times. The four trainers in here are all black belts. There's Darren, Jeffrey, Raphael, and Colby. Colby. Mm -hmm. Colby. Uh, they've got Matchokes, Matchops, Metatites. Nothing, nothing new under the sun here. The leader, on the other hand, does have some new mon. Well, one new mon, anyway. Mm-hmm. Do we want to talk about her team, or do we want to talk about our teams? Let's talk about her team first. Oh, wait, so, no, our team first. Our team first? Yeah, because then we can talk about what happened. Sure. I guess it's Pokemon Center check-in time. Okay, so first <laughs> I'll, I'm going to tell you all the Pokemon I caught, because I didn't up until this point. Oh, okay. I did catch a few. Um, I caught a Magikarp. Right. An Abra. A Hoot Hoot, who I thought I was going to use, but I already have a bird on my team, mm -hmm. so I didn't. Uh, my egg, Hapini. I caught a Ghastly, an Unknown, and an Abra. And I'm having a really, really hard time because I love Gengar and my Abracadabra Alakazam magic guy. Yeah. And I want to use them, but I'm not going to, so that's hard. And I also caught another Pokemon who's on my team, so I'll tell you my team. Okay. Okay. Like I said, I only care about two, maybe three Pokemon, so I only leveled them up. So I'll start with my low, my low balls right now. I have Louie, my Shinx, yep. the cat, level 15. I'm over him. Like, I thought he would be really, really cool, but he's not the new strong, so I'm over him. Has he leveled up yet? Is he a Luxio? No. Wait, is he? Yes, he is. Yeah, yeah, he's a slick back hair cat. Okay. Yeah, he's Luxio. a Luxio, but he's not cool. Okay. Like, I don't care. Okay. Give me a Pikachu. Sure. Yeah. I have Gucci 2. Shellos. Shellos. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Level 18. I wrote Celios, but that's wrong in my mind. Burberry, my Bibarel. Burberry? Yeah. Cute. Level 17. Yeah. I have Roxy, my Ponyta. Okay. Level 22, who I'm really glad I found because I'd have no fire until this point. So, yeah, yeah he's been helping me out. Ponyta is the only fire type that we it, get. It's ridiculous. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. I have so much water type and then this thing. Yeah. Anyway, I have my bird. Stevie the Staravia. Staravia. Uh, he's level 29. And then I have Prada, my print plup, who's 31. Wow. Yeah. 31. Yeah, you can tell I care about him. <laughs> nice. I mean, that's funny. So your lowest level is 16, 15. you said? 15. 15? Yeah. 15 to 31. Because I don't care. I want new Pokemon. Yeah. Yeah, so I need to go catch some new friends because I don't like these ones. Fair enough. My Pokemon to fight the Veilstone Gym <laughs> were a bell. A bell. Which is my level 26 Bronzor. Bronzor? You got a Bronzor. I got a Bronzor. Nice. It's level 26. A squirrel. <laughs> my level 26 Pachirisu. 26. A flower. Which is actually, I had a name change, now yeah. it's a rose. Okay. A rose, level 26, Roselia. Nice. A palindrome, but that doesn't fit, so it's just palindrome, but we're <laughs> going to add the uh on the yeah, front, because we have to. A palindrome, my level 26, Girafferig. Oh no! Oh, I love Girafferig. A tortoise, my level 26, Grotal. Nice. And what I went all the way back to Floroma Town for, oh, yeah. a balloon, my level 26 Drifloon. You have a Drifloon? 
I do. I like them. They're adorable. They are really cute. I didn't cute. know they were good, though. They're flying, so they're very... Uh, flying ghost, so they're very good okay, against flying, cool. fighting type. That's cool. Yeah. And uh, Giraffe or Egg, of course, normal psychic. So yeah, psychic like part giraffe, being good pretty. against fighting. Maylene is the leader here at Veilstone. Yep. And Maylene has a Meditite level 27. Easy. A Machoke level 27. Easy. And a Lucario level 30. 30. S my life. Very hard. I am so mad at this Pokemon. I did really, really well. And then Lucario just killed me three times. I was yeah. so angry. Very hard. I couldn't. It was so hard. I almost quit and threw the DS out the window. When I entered the gym, all my Pokemon were 25. Yeah. Each one of them gained a single level. Wow. So they're all 26. But he was level 30. Four levels higher than anything I had. And, and I had a level 30 print book. Yeah. Couldn't touch him. He was very, like, very difficult. Ridiculous. I need one. So, like, I couldn't, could not touch him. I think I made it out, like, barely alive. Yeah, me too. I, yeah. I had two Pokemon alive. Uh, my Drifloon. My Drifloon and my Pachirisu. My Pachirisu is actually who I beat him with. Oh, really? <laughs> Which is funny because Pachirisu, I am learning, sucks very bad. Oh, no. It's very hard to use. That is so cute. It is very cute. He gets by on his looks, I guess. But I definitely, um, if I find the Pokemon I'm hunting for now, yeah. uh, because the only reason I have Pachirisu still on my team is because of its pickup ability. Mm. I have lots of hyper potions <laughs> because of this thing. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Uh, but if I find the Pokemon I'm hunting for now, which also has pickup, yeah. I will be moving Pachirisu off of my team, unfortunately. Okay. Yeah. Maylene, once we beat Maylene, gives us the Cobble Badge. Yep. Which lets us use Fly outside of combat, but we don't have well, Fly yet. We don't yet. have it yet, so give me the Fly. But she also gives us TM60 Drain Punch. Yes. Which we talked about earlier. We did. Sorry, spoiler alert. <laughs> That's okay. My goal for next week is to backtrack and catch all the Pokemon that I haven't caught. Because my Pokedex, yeah. I have seen 63, only caught 25. So I am failing my life. I have 35 caught out of 73 seen. Nice. Okay. So you're... It's not as bad as you no, thought. No, you're 10 above me on each. Yeah. So, okay. okay. Not as bad I've as you thought. I've got a lot of catch-up to do. It'll be a catch-up week for me. And then my time... My time last week was 13.31. Right, and all of this week is in the underground. So what did you do? Half of this week, yeah, it was in the <laughs> underground. Uh, this week I'm at 26.55. You are not. Yeah, 13 hours. Oh no. Yeah. And That's it, a lot. And like, you have been playing a lot lately. Seven to nine hours were spent in the underground. Like, ridiculous. Yeah. Okay. I've been watching... Seinfeld in the background. Yeah, you have. Well, in the underground. My time is 13.53. A nice, respectable time. That that was basically what my time was last week. <laughs> 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 but, oh, man, the so stupid... Uh, right, so, post-gym, yeah. I went and got that... that like, I, that was when I went and got that um, fossil. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was like yeah, I couldn't do it before the gym. I was trying trying really hard. Not that I would want to bring a rock steel type into a fighting gym anyway cuz that's four times a week. But I I still wanted to get it. I want I want my dinosaur. Yeah. But uh So wait, when you get the fossil does it grow into a dinosaur or do you have to do anything special to you it? You have to take it back to Orberg. Gosh. That's darn okay. Darn it. So I have okay. a secret for you. Okay, thank you. We get fly this week. Yay, I'm Yay. so happy. So, so you're fine. We can go So back I'm going to gonna dig anytime. until I find my dinosaur, mm -hmm. and then when I get fly, I'm just going to go catch everything. Uh, I forgot, I, meant, I wrote this down. Maylene says that she doesn't know how she became the gym leader or what it means to be strong. And I said, that reminds me of how the galactic grunts don't actually know what they're doing. That's fair. Because they always say, you couldn't possibly understand Team Galactic's motivations. And then they're like, actually, I don't even know what the motivations are, to be honest. <laughs> That's all what the grunts say. That's so they so don't funny. even know what, they're they doing. Don't know what they're doing. They're just following orders. Classic Team Rocket. Gotta right? I love them. Ridiculous. That's it for my notes. That's it for my notes. And I guess that's it for this leg. So now it's time for Pokemon Academy. Very nice. 
This is the Pokemon we're talking about this week. Oh, God. It's Lucario. It's the good boy. Lucario's Japanese name is Lucario. So, easy. Okay. <laughs> it is number 448 in the national decks. It is the Aura Pokemon. It is a fighting and steel type. Lucario has a great base stat total at 525. This puts it in the same total camp as the Eeveelutions. All oh. of them. Yeah. Oh, no wonder I like him a lot. It's high attack stats, both attack and special attack, and it's high speed, not to mention its typing, make it an ideal mixed sweeper, meaning that it can deal physical or special type damage very quickly. Wow. Lucario, like Togepi, was revealed and featured in the anime and in the movie Lucario in the Mystery of Mew before its debut generation. There's a Lucario movie? Yeah. Oh, cute. According to a poll held by the Pokemon Company in 2020, Lucario was the most popular Gen 4 Pokemon and the second most popular Pokemon overall behind only Greninja. According to this same poll, since I'm sure Jay Lee would want to know these facts, Charizard was fourth, there we go. Sylveon was sixth, <gasps> and Pikachu was 19th. What? In 2021. Oh, my favorite Pokemon are doing so well? In 2021, another poll was held, but this one seems to have been memed on, <laughs> as Pokemon who didn't even place the year previous became the highest rated Pokemon, so I will be discounting it. Oh no, okay. <laughs> Leave it out, that's fair. Based on its classification as the Aura Pokemon, it is highly likely that Lucario is based on Anubis, the Egyptian god of funerary rites commonly mistakenly thought to be the god of the dead. Part of Anubis's job was to weigh the hearts of the deceased to determine what their fate in the afterlife would be, much like Lucario views the auras of people and Pokemon. The fighting part of this Pokemon may come from the fact that boxing is thought to have originated in Sumer, ancient Iraq, and Egypt. Oh. Lucario's name might be a corruption of the Latin word oracle, and the name of the Egyptian jackal, uh, also the Latin name of the Egyptian jackal, the Canis Lupaster Lupaster. So hmm. Lu plus Oracle. Cool. But it may also be a corruption of the Greek word orichalcos, which in English would be orichalcum, a mythical metal, which would also explain Lucario's steel typing. Neat. Okay. While most of Lucario's Pokedex entries make it sound like it should be part psychic, the one from Pokemon Moon makes it seem like a terrifying predator. They can detect the species of a living being and its emotions from over half a mile away. They control auras and hunt their prey in packs. Scary. It sounds scary, yeah. They can see you half a mile away and then so they cute. hunt you in a pack. Pack of jackals. <laughs> a jackal pack. It's a jackal! It's a jackal! It's a jackal pack. It's literally a jackal! <laughs> jackal pack. And that's it for the Lucario trivia. I love it. Thank you so much. I got some trivia for you. Yeah? Pokedex trivia. Same as always. I will read out three Pokedex entries and you have to guess who they are. Extra points if you get their typing correct. Which okay. you always do. I need to. I need to mix this up. Number one, are you ready? Yeah. You should do it. You should write it down how it's like actually listed in the Pokedex. Like so, like type one is flying. Type two is normal, and then see if I can guess that because I bet you I'll fail that. Anyway, sorry. Okay. Go ahead. Tempered underground under high pressure and heat, its body is harder than any metal. And that's from this generation. They are all from either this generation or before. Oh, okay. If you need another entry, let me know. Golem? No. Okay. Yeah, okay. Maybe another entry. Another entry? It chews its way through boulders with its sturdy jaws. Its eyes can see in the darkness underground. Can I get the first one again? Tempered underground under high pressure and heat. Its body is harder than any metal. Steelix? Yes. Cool. And it's typing... Oh shit, I don't know. Steel and rock. Steel and, <gasps> steel and ground. Yes, okay. good save. Good save. Number two, are you ready? I, I remembered that Agron is steel and rock. Anyway, Ooh, yeah, sorry, okay. go ahead. Number two. Yeah. 
This Pokemon does not keep a nest. It flies over fields and mountains in constant search of floral honey. Combi? <gasps> no. Okay. These are hard and I'm happy. Okay. It's looking for honey and it doesn't mm-hmm. keep a nest. Okay. Uh, another entry, if you have one. While it loves floral honey, it won't gather any itself. Instead, it plots to steal some from Combi. <laughs> I like this Pokemon. He's sneaky. Doesn't make a nest. That's literally all of the Pokedex entries. That's all they say. It steals it honey. It steals from Combi. Is it Cricketune? No. Okay. I've only got one, one more one guess. guess left. Um, let me see if I can give you a hint. Do you want me to tell you it's... No, it's typing one. I don't know if these will help, but its abilities are Swarm and Tinted Lens. Do you want to know what it starts with? No. Oh. Okay. Swarm and tinted lens, so it is a bug type. <laughs> um, yeah, all of the entries say it steals, steals honey from Combi. Trying to think of what has swarm and tinted lens and was a bug I've type. I've never heard of this Pokemon Invented before. in this generation. I don't know if it's in this generation. Yes, it is. I've never heard of it. Mothim? Yeah. What, what the hell? Yes. Why would it... It's a moth. Why would it be interested in honey? I don't know. That's so bizarre. He's okay. cute. Yeah, it, it's what... So I have a Wormadam. It's what it would have evolved into if it was a male instead of a female. Okay, yeah, 100% male. What is its typing? Bug flying. Yes, correct. Yeah. Let's move on to the last one. Are you ready? <laughs> yeah. This Pokemon habitually mimics foes. chat on- no. Dang it. <laughs> Wait till I'm done. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Once mimicked, the foe cannot take its eyes off this Pokemon. Habitually mimics foes. Yep. And can't take your eyes off. Is it Miss Mime Jr.? Yeah. <laughs> okay. And he's a psychic fairy type, but right now he's just psychic. Just psychic because he's the baby. Yeah. Well, no, no, no. He... he it will become fairy type when fairy type is introduced. Oh. But, well, yeah. he's a baby. He's a baby. Good job. Those are hard. I'm quite proud of me. That was very hard. Quite I proud. almost would. I almost gave up on Motham because I was like, "Man, what are the bug types?" But it, but I've never heard of that Pokemon before, so that's more than fair. Yeah, but you said, you said it, it flies around, not making a nest, and Wormadam, which is its alternative evolution, mm-hmm. is a bag worm, so it's always making a nest. It is a nest. <laughs> And it doesn't fly. Wormadam is completely stationary. So, really? Yeah. So Gross. it's like, so it's not that. It's got to be Mothim then. Because there's no way that you couldn't find another Pokedex entry yeah. for Dustox, no. which is another thing that has tinted lens. And or we Butterfree. did Dustox like last week. Or yeah. A couple weeks ago. Or something. But so, so those ones it couldn't have been because those ones wouldn't only include Combi in there. That's why I knew it had yeah. to be this generation because Combi came in in this generation. I loved how hard that was. But good job, you got Oh, it, it took like everything I could. <laughs> well, thank you for entertaining me. That was great. Thank you. And thank you. Bravo! A Bravo! winner is you! A winner is you! I forgot about that. Oh, I'm never going to remember. <laughs> Bravo, a winner is you. Thank you. You're welcome. And thank you, everyone, for joining us today. Please, please follow us on Instagram at Route to Victory Road Podcast. And if you haven't already, we would love it if you could rate our show on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, iHeartRadio, or wherever you listen to your favorite podcast. And please consider supporting us on Patreon at patreon.com slash route to victory road. Our Patreon friends get to hear our episodes first before they are released anywhere else. Thank you all for your love and support. And bravo, everyone. A winner (laughs) is all of you. Our poker quote today is, I think sometimes one has to make mistakes to learn what is right. And that is a ace trainer from Hard Home Gym. I love it. So we'll be meeting up with this trainer. soon. Soon. Bravo, a winner is you. Bravo, a winner is you. Thank you all for being our friends this week. And we will see you all next time on the route to Victory Road. 